so now in this video we are adding the functionality of sort and sort by so basically we have this off uh, and again we have this off so it's it's again the uh, yeah yeah it is the same method uh, means yeah it is overloaded method which take the parameter as a sort dot direction as well as string as a property okay so uh, the properties means the attribute name of uh, attribute name of specific entity and direction should be ascending and descending so for that purpose i am creating to attribute to bind it with api so let me add those attribute private sorted direction so i am going to give the name sort and by default value of sort dot direction is asc okay so it is nothing but the ascending and after that i need another attribute uh, means how you are going to sort means uh, sort by column name okay so here i am going to use private uh, sort by okay so sort by column and yeah I forget to write the string here so string sort by column uh, so currently uh, I am putting column name as id y because uh, in each and every uh, student or each and every entity we have we should have common attribute id which is nothing but the primary key that's why i'm putting id as input so again we need to do some validation right so i'm putting the validation part here so dto dot what it is get sort right so if it is not null then we are getting the sort okay otherwise we are getting this dot sort okay and what it will return it will return the sort dot direction so I am putting sort now uh, the another thing it's like sort by column okay so I am again getting dto dot get sort by column okay get sort by column and it is nothing but the sort by column okay and the variable name is again the sort by column so what I am doing I am just okay it is again written the string okay so I am copying it and commenting this code and put here another attribute which is nothing but the sort and last means uh, sort by column okay so yeah we bind all parameter from front end uh, to this page request now uh, we have this page request let's run the program to check it so yeah our program uh, program is up let's check uh, with uh, attribute sort okay so uh, we have the page number zero and we have page size as five so uh, i'm going to put sort and now it is asc by default it is asc only so let's put asc even if you don't put it uh, by default it is asc so yeah it is giving result from one two three four five okay so we are getting five element only order by ascending so if we check the query we get the order by id okay order by id and ascending order so we are means we are getting data using ascending order using id so if i want to change let me clear it one more time if i want to change the order to desc so it is giving me a result into the descending order so now the result will come in the form of 19 18 17 16 15 so you can um, customize it or modify it accordingly according to your need so again we have another attribute sort by column okay sort by column here i am putting the name uh, so id is default so what attribute we have name and city so if i put name and yeah let it have the asc ascending order and let me clear the console one more time and we get the now uh, if it is sort by name so we are getting name a first ang ash after that we chota bhim doremon jerry so it is again the sorted order using uh, 
name if I want to change it using the city so again it will follow the order of the city and so if you check the city city have the China to start from C C C C C okay let me increase the size to 10 so if I increase the size to 10 what will happen we have China 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 India A B C D E F G H I after that we have Scotland Scotland if I put 20 as the page size it will give the all the record using a city sorted order okay China 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 India 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 Scotland Scotland Thailand UK US US yeah so this is how we get the result thanks for watching